so you've taken over as the new director of the Central Bureau of Investigation. And uh, uh, this, in a lot of ways, could really be described as a sort of a hot seat as of now because of the CBI handling uh, tremendously sensitive issues. So do you feel at any, at any point of time in your mind any sort of pressure because of uh, this new job? None whatsoever. None whatsoever, any kind, neither mentally, nor from any other individual, nor from any other source. I believe in doing my job well, according to the my conscience, my countries, and my laws and courts direction. I, I, I'll take your attention to something which really cropped up as sort of a sort of a news-making device in, in the recent past, and that was your meeting with the former Prime Minister, Mr. P. V. Narasimha Rao. Now, how do you put it, I mean, what was the reason for your meeting with uh, the former Prime Minister? It's a courtesy, nothing more than that. I don't want to rebut any criticism. I mean, people, this is a free country, people are willing to, uh, can say anything about it, except that, say, my conscience is clear. I have nothing to hide from anything here. I will extend courtesy not only to the foreign prime minister, but anybody who comes to me. Uh, so you, you described that meeting as a, some sort of a, uh, you wanted to seek some sort of guidance. Now, what guidance was exactly? Let us you not, uh, you know, this is, uh, go into that now. I said it's the courtesy and the, that's all. Uh, just, just one more question on that. I, I really would not. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Just, just one more question. Please, please, please feel free. I, I just want to ask you one thing on whether, you know, there, there, there's this perception on the meeting that it, it was to neutralize some sort of equations because the CBI is handling most of the very sensitive no, matters against Mr. I'm sorry. I have, uh, the courtesy part is a different part. Case parts are different part. Investigation is a different part. These two things don't mix up in my life. A man has different roles in life. A husband, a father, an investigator as a man. So this is a different role. It's effort for you can't mix up the two roles here. You will never find me wanting in my job. You will never find me wanting in anything here because I think basically we should not for forget our need of being courteous and polite. It doesn't really cost you anything at all. That's all I will have to say on this. Just one last question. Uh, what would you see as one of the most primary jobs at hand for you? In the, in, the, in the given situation. What do you see was the most primary job at hand? First of all, the agency has done an excellent job in the past. Many times people don't know the constraints under which it functions. For instance, a number of cases require foreign investigation. A number of cases, scientific opinions are called for. In a number of cases, you need the cooperation of other individuals. An investigation is not something like electric button, you press on and the light comes up. After for unraveling the truth, you do, do need, need time. You need the cooperation of the accused also. Not only that, but you need corroborative evidence because your belief in a particular uh, offense is different from the evi hard evidence you're going to uh, present in a court of law. So you have to have something which will convince the court, yes, something has really happened. So this, this agency sometimes is misunderstood for the time it, it takes here. For instance, for foreign investigation, we send letters to Gautri to a foreign country. No reply comes for months together because everybody is own priorities, own commitments and all that. Then we are blamed ke why it is so and so. It's not common on that one. So there's one thing also that has happened in the recent past is often the courts have pulled up the CBI. Uh, in some matter or the other over maybe a little tardy progress in the case or maybe uh, not so much of a hardcore investigation into it. Now, how do you plan to tackle these problems which would be very basic for you to face? First of all, I have no comments on the court's comments. We welcome their comments. We welcome any kind of criticism, including criticism personally directed at the director because it makes us alert, it makes us careful, it makes us responsive to whatever is expected of us. And wherever the court points out something has been tardy, we certainly look into that and try to come up with expectations. If you cite an individual case, I can probably react to that, but generally any kind of criticism is welcome because it's a corrective step for us. We can, uh, it's a two-way traffic and uh, the court's views are taken into consideration after it is they 
who are the final authority to judge whether whatever you have done is correct or not. Just last question, Singh Sahib. Uh, any sort of political pressure, and I am really pointing it towards the fact of I political pressure. I can assure pressure. you there is no political pressure. There is a deal from the Prime Minister of India, which I can give you a photocopy, in which he has categorically said here, and he has more than once assured that this is a, he is not going to interfere. He has not interfered in any case. In fact, why, why Prime Minister, I can assure you, nobody has ever approached me that you do this or do that. And neither have I told any investigating officer that you don't investigate a case of this. This is a good tradition, the agency has it here. I would request you to correct this impression which any, anybody may have it here. We ourselves are equally concerned with the delays which take place. They involve very senior people. It involves their uh, reputation. It involves their careers. I look upon the agency's work not only to find the guilty but also to clear those who are not guilty on this. Uh, y your predecessor was also talked about as at times being the Prime Minister's man. Would that be the case in, in your situation well, as well? I am your man. That's how I will put it down here. I am your man. I am common man, man. I am Prime Minister's man. I am every man's man in India. They are free to come. They are free to correspond to the agency with the constraints we have. We we'll certainly try to do our best on that. I am everybody's man, including my Prime Minister's man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.